in this video I want to try and re-explain what I tried to explain in the last tutorial but I didn't have any proper examples. These are examples but I guess not real ones just to help visualize what I'm talking about. Looking up in the inspector we can see co-worker, firefighter, hunter, farmer, and hunter all different colors. If you guys want to know how I colored these characters ask. Maybe I'll post a video. And they all have FSMs. On this one, we have six empty nested behavior trees. And on the right, in the project window, you can see there are like 10 different um, empty behavior trees just to represent real ones. Now I'm going to speed up this video so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just dragging and dropping these nested, these pre-made behavior trees into our FSMs. I'm thinking, what kind of behaviors does a hunter need? And just throwing those in. And I'm going to a hunter farmer, pasting those hunter behaviors, and then adding some more that a hunter farmer might need. So find food, gather materials. You know, maybe this farmer goes to houses and then picks weeds. He's a neighborhood gardener. Now let's check out the firefighter. Again, what behaviors are similar? Just copy and paste from another one, and you can start from there. Clearly, every character needs to idle walk. Yeah, I guess he needs to go to different houses in the neighborhood. Because he clearly needs to put out fire. Now, on the co-worker, you know, just just showing a quick example, uh, linking these up. Um, this doesn't really pertain to anything right now. Just kind of a quick example of using finite state machines for one behavior going into the other when a condition is met. If you haven't seen a from any state node, it's very similar to the animation node. From any state at any given time, it can leave, I mean, it can enter that node that it's connected to. Right now, I'm setting it up to check a float. We're going to say my health, and then if that health ever gets below 10, we're going to run the behavior flee. Again, you're not supposed to be following along. This is just a quick example of what we would like to be able to do in the future. To quickly and easily add behaviors to new characters using existing behaviors that we've used on other characters. If we can make them modular. Now hopefully if there was any confusion on the goal of our finite state machine top level with nested behavior trees, it's a little bit more clear.